Hi there and welcome to Gridbusters. My name's Sarah. I'm standing here in rural France in front of uh, my farmhouse here. And what this channel is all about is how we can take a relatively large house that uses around about 100 kilowatt hours of electricity per day and is it possible to take that house completely off grid with a 100% DIY system? Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building a uh, off grid power system that uses batteries and solar power and then uses the grid power purely as backup. So join me in this journey and uh, let's go to the workshop now and we can, I can walk you through exactly how this is all going to work. Okay, so welcome to the workshop, or rather, should I say, the lab. <laughs> so, um, I've just finished putting this workshop together. Uh, this was actually just a room in the barn, and I've uh, completely converted it. I did record the process, actually, and I'm just in the process of editing it together. So, if you're interested in kind of DIY and building work and stuff like that, um, I'll post those videos, although that's not really what I want the channel to be about. I want the channel to be about building batteries and building solar panel systems and taking things off grid, uh, which is why I've decided to call the channel Grid Busters. But anyway, if you're interested in the workshop build, I will put those videos up on the channel. It's going to be two or three videos, not quite sure how long it's going to be yet. Um, but you know, what I wanted to have, I didn't want to build this thing on my kitchen table. Um, I wanted to have everything to hand. I wanted to have the space I needed to do a bit of research because I know nothing about building batteries and inverters and solar equipment apart from stuff I've just read online. Um, so I, I want to learn this process, have some uh, like a bit of space for myself just to learn how this all works. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be prototyping everything here in the workshop. Um, I'm going to be building everything um, in here. I've just got all the components have just come in from China to build a 15 kilowatt hour a battery that's just the kind of basis I want to build eventually I want to get the battery to at least 100 kilowatt hours maybe even two to 300 kilowatt hours so you know just to start with though I've just ordered enough stuff to build one 15 kilowatt hour battery and when I know that all works then we can order more materials to kind of duplicate that also the other thing is we need to, we need a plant room somewhere to put all of the equipment the solar um, the inverters all the solar equipment, uh, the batteries, all of that kind of stuff that's quite close to the house. So we do have a storage room next to the house. We call it the boiler room. It is the room where there used to be an oil-based boiler and tank, which has all been ripped out. And we've used that room for storage uh, for about 10 years. So um, we are in the process of removing everything from that room. And then we have a builder coming next month who's going to be laying a concrete floor in there. I'm going to be helping him out as well. I'm going to put a proper door in there, dry line the room so it's uh, you know, a climate-controlled room so it doesn't get too cold in there because you can't have you know, can't have batteries somewhere where it's very cold um, and everything will get installed in there eventually. However, to start with, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the solar system here. So we're going to be putting all of the equipment that converts the power from the solar panels and charges the batteries and then takes the battery power and, and turns that into power which we can use in the house. So I'll be installing the battery here, I'll be installing the solar charge controllers, the inverter and everything will go here on this wall as a kind of like a test proof of concept system. Um, now the solar charge controllers and the inverters and everything else I'm getting that side that equipment is going to be you know powerful enough to power the whole house but obviously a 15 kilowatt hour battery isn't and I've only got 10 um, 400 watt solar panels at the moment so you know it's, it's a quite small system at the moment so and we're waiting for planning permission to put the panels on the roof at the moment so the test system we're going to be building over the next few weeks is going to be literally just solar panels leaning up against the barn. I will build the battery, we'll install the solar charge controller, the inverter here, and hopefully we can generate enough power to power the workshop and also power my electric car. So I have a, a Tesla Model S and I've always liked the idea of thinking, wow, it'd be great if I could have a solar powered car. So I want to be able to generate Literally, just in the test system, I want to be able to generate enough power to charge the car, run the workshop, and maybe run a few little things that we have um, going on outside the house, like the fridge freezer and stuff like that. 
um, as a kind of like a phase one. And then phase two will be when we move everything out of here and put it into the dedicated plant room. So this is the workshop. Let's go and have a little tour of the workshop. Okay, so this is uh, the workshop here. Um, we've got a little charging station here, which I currently use for charging all of the power tools, uh, garden equipment. I've also, what we've done here is we've thrown away, got rid of all of our petrol powered and diesel power equipment. Um, so we changed our lawnmowers, strimmers, hedge cutters, everything over to electric. Uh, we wanna be completely off grid um, here. So, um, this is where we're charging um, our batteries for the Ego lawnmower and strimmer. I will do a review on those later on. Um, we've also got the still equipment um, chargers here. Um, and then we've got a very, very simple fuse box, which I installed there. Um, and then over here we have the section where we've got a, a bench drill, which is going to be very good for drilling holes in some of the bus bars and things, which will be up and coming in the battery build, which is the first thing I'm going to be doing on the channel. Uh, we've got a bench vise, which I've uh, just installed here. Uh, a bench grinder. Really, I've only just just installed this. Uh, just useful for grinding down chisels and stuff like that. Then over here is the main um, workstation. Uh, a little bit of behind the scenes here. I've got some uh, a rig up here for lighting, which I'm going to be installing. Um, and I've also just got an area here to put um, all of my tools. Um, got a bench power supply here. Um, and so I, I think I'm pretty well equipped. Then over, we move over here. We start getting into the stock. So in stock now we have on the bottom shelf here, we have 15 kilowatt hours of um, uh, batteries. Um, so we'll be doing an unboxing on those pretty soon. Um, down here we have in stock a battery box, which I actually have unboxed just to make sure it wasn't damaged. So one of the reasons um, I'm doing this is because of the uncertainty that's going on in the world right now. You know, it, it's, they've been talking about um, you know, blackouts here in France. In fact, we were told this year we are not allowed to use more electricity uh, this year than we did last year because there's a shortage of power. And it's always been in the back of my mind, it would be great to go off grid, um, it would be great to save money from the you know, electricity board and be kind of like energy independent. Plus, you know, at the end of the day, you know, in the winter, we do use an awful lot of power. We use over, well, we use roughly around 100 kilowatt hours of electricity per day, which is an immense amount. In fact, we have our electricity bill here in France is around a thousand euros a month, which is just insane. Um, so even if we can go some way to reducing that bill initially, and eventually it would be nice if we could generate enough power to completely um, take care of that. Now we do have a huge roof here on this barn, which is south facing. Um, so we're just in the process of applying for planning permission to fill that roof with solar panels. Maybe we'll also have a wind turbine as well. We do have uh, several acres of land here, right next to the house. We have very, very large open spaces where we, and it is very, very windy. So we could put wind turbines up. So we have different options. Some will work, I'm sure, and some will work I'm sure as well. Um, now I am completely new to solar power, I'm completely new to building batteries. I do have a little bit of experience in wiring. Um, I rewired the um, house next door so we have two houses. We have our main house and then we have a second house as well and I did rewire that house uh, entirely because when we bought the house you know, the, the electrics were, you know, you know borderline dangerous. Well, not borderline dangerous, they were dangerous. So they had to be ripped out. And boy, oh boy, was that a big job because it, it is a huge house. Um, so yeah, I, I do have some experience with re rewiring and house wiring, but that is the only experience I, I really have. Um, so this is, like I said, this is all new to me. Look, you know, I don't want this to be a how-to channel because 
like I said, I am learning as well. And by the way, if you feel I'm doing something wrong, if you feel that, you know, I've, I've talked about something that's incorrect, please correct me because I don't want to be kind of like thought of like the expert because this is going to be the first time I'm doing this. So, you know, I'd like you to come along as well. If you have any questions, please do comment um, below the video um, and um, I'd be happy to answer those questions on future videos. Also, look, if there's something you feel would be really good to incorporate into any of the videos, do let me know and I'll cover that in, in the videos um, or I'll make a video um, on that. Um, also, if you'd like a Facebook group or anything like that, uh, let me know as well and maybe we can we can organize, uh, organize that. So join me on this journey to become off-grid and um, that's kind of like why I called the, uh, the, the YouTube channel Grid Busters. We want to get rid of gr the grid. We want to get rid of the man. We want to be energy independent. So join me on this journey uh, where uh, we cut the cord and we learn how to uh, yeah, become energy independent. <laughs>